What's up everyone? Welcome to a new baking video. Today we're gonna be making cheesecake. But you know what? We're not gonna be making the traditional cheesecake. We're gonna be making it with sous vide. If you guys have seen my last video, I got a sous vide or an Anova precision cooker maker thing. And basically I made the egg bites from Starbucks and I am real into this machine. Since then, I have actually not used it, but this is gonna be my second attempt and I wanted to make cheesecake. I already have it over there set to 176 degrees Fahrenheit. So while that is warming up, we've gotta make the cheesecake happen here. Step one, set the Anova precision cooker. Got it, got it, got it, in a bowl. Got the bowl. Whip the cream cheese. Got the cream cheese. Sugar and yogurt or sour cream together until smooth. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming that this is what they were talking about. Let me tell you guys something about this. I don't even know how to pronounce it. You could have two different things for this recipe. You could either have this, or you could have whatever that word is. French cultured cream. Cool, I can read that. Never heard of it before in my life. Took me a very long time to find this in the grocery store. So we need a 12 ounce cream cheese room temperature. Oh, it's so room temperature, it's probably just gonna fall right out of here. Nope, needs a little motivation. But you're, yeah, you're, you're good. One fourth cup of the, whatever this is. Oh, it's like yogurt. It's yogurt? I got tricked into buying yogurt that's half empty? Okay, we need a half cup of sugar. Okay, now we need to whip all of these ingredients together. We've got this hand mixer. We're clearly upgrading here. So let's see how this goes. Last time I tried to use a hand mixer, it didn't go very well. Did I do this right? I don't know. Warning, do not plug in water. Cool, thanks. Oh my God, why are you doing this? It's like I'm fighting it. I don't wanna fight you, I don't wanna fight. How well do I mix this? Until smooth, you look smooth to me. All right, next up, gradually add in eggs one by one, beating well in between. I need eggs? I need eggs. Good thing I got some at the store today. One egg. I feel like as soon as I turn this mixer on, that egg is gonna go wild. Oh my God, I started it before I had it in the mixer. You dumb idiot. There is French cream yogurt everywhere. That's uh, probably a bad idea. I have to clean up, there's too much mess. On to egg number two. That's a big boy, big old egg. This time we will insert this into the mix and then turn it on. This is real gooey. All right, now we need to add a zest of lemon. I think I know what that means. If not, I'm just gonna leave that there. Right, this is unzesting. This is zesting. Oh my God, it smells like a freaking summer day. I wonder how, how much, how zesty they wanna get here. I wonder if I'm gonna scrape off my entire hand. I think half of my skin particles are in there. We need a half tablespoon of vanilla extract. My favorite. Very liquidy. Then we just have to pour it into the jars. Wow! I would taste this, but there's eggs in it. Not like that has ever stopped me before. Awesome! Where are my jars? And this even has a little pour on it, so we are in good shape. Ooh, definitely just missed the, uh, yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> Sous-vide is my new hobby. Time to drop them in the water. All right guys, welcome back. Now as you can tell, we are in a different kitchen and I'm wearing a different outfit. It's actually the next day. I let the cheesecake refrigerate overnight because one, I was tired and two, I figured, hey, it actually can't hurt. So let's take a look at what it looks like. I mean, it looks and smells like cheesecake. Now for the recipe, it says that you can add some fresh fruit, which I have some blueberries, or you could add some type of like sauce. So a sauce would actually be incredible, but I don't have any. So we're gonna toss some blueberries on here and we're gonna call it a day. It looks so funny. It's like, hi, why are you so small? Let's try it, shall we? Oh, it's creamy. 
Oh, it's actually incredible. Mmm. Mmm. Oh boy. Oh, excuse me while I just enjoy my cheesecake for breakfast. So I think if I were to do this again, or actually to my other ones that I have in the refrigerator, I think I would add like a reverse cheesecake. So on top, maybe add like a crumbled graham cracker and then put the fruit on it, because I think that would be actually pretty good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the description is all the information you will need if you need the recipe or where to buy a sous vide. And I'll see you guys next time.